Chartered Youth. Na mtazamaji tukiendelea Rais William Ruto sasa anataka kinara wazimio rale Udinga kustaafu kutoka kwenye siasa. Akimlenga Udinga alipokuwa akizungumza na wafanyakazi wa umma, Ruto anasema kwamba yeyote ambaye amekuwa mfanyakazi wa umma na amefikisha umri wa kustaafu anafaa staafu mara moja akidai kama mwanasiasa na mtumishi wa umma hatajihusisha na siasa atakapostaafu huku akikashifu uharibifu wa mali ambao umezidi kushuhudiwa nchini katika maandamano ya azimio mwanahabari wetu Daniel Karioki na taarifa zaidi Rais William Ruto ameendeleza mashambulizi yake kwa kinara wa azimio Raila Odinga kutokana na maandamano ambayo yamekuwa kiongoza baada ya maandamano ya kwanza ya Alhamisi na ya tatu tangu kuanza kwa maandamano hayo Rais amesema Udinga anafaa kustaafu sasa kutoka kwenye siasa When somebody gets to 60 they begin to say oh you know I have not arranged a succession plan I need another two years extension so that I can do this and I can do that and you have not done what you should have done it cannot be an excuse <laughs> Ingawa alikuwa akizungumza kuhusiana na utumishi wa wafanyikazi wa umma, Ruto alionekana kutumia mafumbo akimlenga Odinga kwamba ilikuwa ni wakati mwafaka kujiondoa siasani. Msimamo ulioshikiliwa na naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa aliyehudhuria. As a politician when my time comes, I am very confident that I have mentored enough young people, young leaders who can if not serve as, 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 as good maybe serve better than I have done there is no constitutional provision in our constitution for a handshake arrangement it's not there kumekuwa na nipe ni kupe kati ya viongozi hawa wawili haswa kutokana na maandamano ambayo yamekuwa yakiendelezwa na muungano wa azimio rais akizungumza baada ya vurugu kuzuka alhamisi Asema, lazima katiba na sheria zilizowekwa kufuatwa. It is my position that the constitution did not envisage that different opinions would result in chaos or loss of property or loss of life. The president cannot reinstate IBC commissioners. He doesn't have that power or authority. The president would not even know where the server is stored. Rais alizungumza alipokuwa kwenye uzinduzi wa mpango wa wanagenzi katika utumishi wa umma katika jumba la KICC hapa Nairobi. Wanagenzi 3300 watanufaika na mpango huo mwaka huu huku 2020 wakitarajiwa kunufaika kuanzia mwaka ujao. Daniel Karioki, KTN News, Nairobi.